Here's the tea that we're drinking for today's painting session. It's Edo Tea's sleeping tea. I've been drinking it recently because I have sleeping problems. It has me ready to go and start today's painting session. Here is my fantastic little sketchbook that I'm painting over. Actually, let me show you some little sketches. Here is this that I did in high school. And then this thing that I did, as I said, I'm painting over it. So here's what I did recently. So right now we're going to paint over to this page. We're gonna paint this reference picture because I've been really feeling these little still light live still lights recently. Here are my little art supplies. I'm gonna use this thing. Just check out all the main colors that we use. I thought I would narrate today's painting vlog, although I'm a little unsure about this decision because I feel like I don't have much to say about my art process or painting process. I just kind of do it. But as you can see, I'm going in with the paint right away. I don't do the sketch first because, I don't know, I just don't feel like it. And I'm using a flat brush because I just like that it doesn't let me focus on the details too fast. I like the shapes that it makes. As for the colors that I pick, I don't really know. I get a lot of questions about my color palette. I just pick whatever looks good together and if it doesn't then I use something else. This is why I don't narrate my videos because it's not very helpful of me. Rather than using pure white, I like to mix it with a little bit of yellow or a little bit of pink. I just think it looks nice that way. In this painting, I did the little strawberries and the little cups, and then I did the background on top of that because I think it looks kind of cool. Also, as you can see, I'm painting on a blue background, which is better than working on just a flat white background because your eye gets confused if you're working on just plain white. And also, it just provides a nice little contrast for when I'm putting the colors on top and you can sometimes see the blue coming through. Oh, it's more of a blue-green, I guess. Yeah, I always try my best to let the color come through, but then I always end up overworking the painting. So here I'm just doing little general shapes. I'm not really trying too hard because this is, after all, a little sketchbook painting and I'm just doing it for fun. I usually like to have something on while I'm painting. Sometimes it's music, but usually it's some kind of movie or K-drama. I don't put on a K-drama unless it's something I've watched before because I have to look up at the subtitles and it ends up taking me twice as long to finish. But this time we were watching The Graduate because it was assigned for my film class. I love coming home and knowing that I'm going to sit down, put on my movie and do a little sketchbook painting. It's this whole process that I have to go through and it's so nice. I've been doing a lot of paintings in my sketchbook recently actually, which is really exciting because I rarely work in my sketchbook. I think a part of it is because when I was applying to art school, I would get so unmotivated, I guess, seeing all of those CalArts accepted sketchbooks and all that. And I would think like my sketchbook has never looked like this. I've never even finished a sketchbook in my entire life, but it's always hard to remember that those kind of sketchbooks are completely created for the purpose of getting accepted into a school. Every artist sketchbook is just like this messy little book of ideas and so I've been trying to get back into working with my sketchbook lately and I have been working in my sketchbook lately but I also kind of stopped working digitally because for some reason I can't do both at the same time. So back to the painting, I'm just adding in some final details, cleaning up the lines, and I didn't really end up liking this painting very much, but I'm trying to let go of this whole mindset of if a painting is bad, then that means I wasted my time, when that's not what it means at all, because I enjoy the process of painting. I shouldn't have to look at a painting and be like, it's bad, therefore I shouldn't have done it, because that's stupid. But anyway, after I finished that one, I kind of just wanted to finish the other side as well, and I just had extra red on my palette, so I found a little reference picture of a plate of strawberries, and I quickly painted that. Although I'm really scared of painting strawberries amongst all other fruits because they have seeds, and then they become so hard to draw because I get so tempted to individually draw each seed, which is not really the method I would like to go for. But these kind of turn out pretty nice, pretty pink and simple. Nothing too exciting, just a page of strawberries. So 
so yeah that's pretty much it for today's little painting vlog i hope you enjoyed i'll see you pretty soon